angry uh, about what the word was spoken. So I bind up uh, that spirit uh, that would cause any of us to become angry uh, and that we will freely receive what the Lord is, is telling us tonight in the name of Jesus, Amen. the name Amen. of Jesus. <clears throat> Thank you, Lord. Amen. Amen. The title of the message tonight is Prospering the Soul. It's very important for us to understand how to prosper our soul. The soul involves our mind, our will, our emotions, and all of those um, are, are important, and we need healing and wholeness in, in all of those areas. Amen. First uh, John 3, I mean, I mean, Third John and, and uh, verse, verse 2, two for, uh, Third John, verse 2 says, Beloved, I wish above all things that you prosper and be in health, even as your soul prospers. Uh, now, what we see here are two different concepts, two different levels there. We're talking about the soul, and then we're talking about the natural realm. And what this says that he wants us to prosper in the natural realm, to be healthy in our bodies, uh, to have a sound mind, uh, all out in the natural realm. He wants the natural realm, wants you to prosper. Uh, and you can do that, it says, uh, even as your soul prospers. So uh, in proportion to how your soul prospers. And so that's what we're talking about tonight. How can we have our soul prospering? Because it says that if we have a, a, high, a medium level of prosperity in our soul, then our health and our pro physical and financial prosperity can only go that high. Or if our prosperity of the soul is higher, then our health and our physical and financial prosperity can increase to that level. So these outward things of healing and good health and prosperity are related to this inward thing called the soul and how well the soul is prospering. So it's an important concept. Uh, the believer operates in three different realms, the spiritual realm, the soulish realm, and the natural or physical realm. And all of these are tied together. Now, we want to prosper in our soul. Uh, mm -hmm. and, and, of course, uh, a lot of people are concerned about what's going on in, in their souls, particularly in their emotions, what's, what's happening in their emotions. Mm -hmm. Sometimes their emotions are high and sometimes they're low and, and they're not stable. And so all kinds of things can happen in your soulish realm. But what happens in your soulish realm is going to impact your health and it's going to impact your financial prosperity. So mm. those are the things we want to talk about today. And we want to develop a strategy on how we can prosper our soul because it's going to impact every aspect of our life. Now, there are three areas, three spiritual, three realms, I said, the spirit, soul, and body. And that's all in 1 Thessalonians 5. Uh, 23, uh, it says, and the very God of peace sanctify you wholly, and I pray God your whole spirit, spirit soul, soul, and, and body, body be preserved blameless until the coming of our Lord Jesus Christ. So there are the three realms, and, and we need to know how they're connected because there is an order in God's kingdom. Uh, natural uh, people <clears throat> are <clears throat> just see two different things. They see the outward things, the physical, natural things, and then they know that there is a soul. But for the believers, there is also the spiritual realm, and that's the spirit mm. of man. Mm, mm, mm. And uh, we're wanting to develop a strategy. So where do we develop the strategy? If we know that we're made up of three parts, spirit, soul, oh, and body. body. Well, Matthew 6, verse 33 says, seek first, first the kingdom, kingdom of, of God, God, okay, and his righteousness, and then now everything else is going to be added to you. So we know that our strategy 
begins with seeking the kingdom. Now, Jesus said in uh, Luke chapter 17, verses 20 and 21, when he was asked about when will the kingdom appear, he said, the kingdom is, is within, within you. you. The kingdom is within you. And so it's deep within you. And these there are these three levels then, the spirit, the soul, and the body. And what we want to see is how do they fit together and how can we impact these three different areas of our life? We all have it. Now, mm -hmm. the natural man will not recognize that there's a difference between the spirit and the soul and just say, well, it's, that's within us and that's our thinking and that's our emotions. But the spiritual person will recognize that there is both a spirit and a soul within each of us. And that is comes from uh, Hebrews chapter 4, verse 12, that says the word of God, God can penetrate and divide the spirit from the soul. That's the reason I say a, a carnal person doesn't even recognize that there is a difference between the spirit and the soul, nor how to divide them, because it's the word of God that divides the spirit from the soul. And, and this is the basic concept tonight that our prosperity uh, and success in every aspect of life begins in your spirit man, mm -hmm. in your heart, mm -hmm. in the inner man. It, it all begins there because he, Jesus said, seek first. So the starting point is always the kingdom. Seek first the kingdom. The kingdom is within. Now, what, what does the kingdom mean? Well, it means the king's dominion the king's dominion, mm -hmm. where the king has dominion, uh, that's kingdom, king's dominion. And so when you accept Jesus as your Lord and Savior, then he has dominion of your spirit. And that's where the kingdom is, because you give him dominion mm -hmm. in your inner being. And so that's where the kingdom is. It's, it begins there, but it's all around. It's, it, it's all around us. But when we give the king dominion in our spirit, that's where his kingdom is. That's where, and so it says, seek first the kingdom. Well, we know from Romans chapter 14, 17, and, and this is, I'm going to keep this very simple tonight and say that the kingdom is righteousness, yes. peace, peace, and, and joy. joy. Okay, so if the kingdom in is- In the Holy Ghost. In the, in the Holy Ghost, in the power of the Holy Ghost. So I'm looking at these three things, righteousness, peace, peace and, and joy. joy. And, and so the, if, if you have made Jesus Lord, then the king dominion is in your spirit. And so we need these three things, righteousness, peace, and joy in our spirit man. And that's also with the power of the Holy Spirit. Because 1 Corinthians 4.20 says that the kingdom is not about words, but it's about power. So it's the power mm -hmm. of the Holy Spirit. Mm -hmm. So if we're going to be successful in this life, if, if we're going to uh, be healthy in this life, if we're going to have uh, prosperity and success in this life, it all begins in the spirit man with righteousness, peace, and joy in the power of the Holy Spirit. So if you want to look at where do you start, you always start with the kingdom, and that's within you, and look at these three things. Am I practicing righteousness? See, he who practices righteousness is righteous, and then we look at joy. Do you have joy in your inner man? Do you have peace in your inner man? You get those by the power of the Holy Spirit because joy and peace are the fruit of the spirit mm, mm, so mm, if, if we're going to prosper out here in the soul it's going to start in our inner man because proverbs 4 mm, verse 23 says guard, guard your heart. heart with all diligence okay so you better it's something about us being diligent here guard your heart with all diligence for out of its springs or flow the springs of life. Mm -hmm. So you have, you have this uh, fountain of life 
in your spirit man and of course it's coming from the holy spirit it's going to spring out first on the spirit man then it will pour out onto your soul so we're talking about tonight how do we prosper the soul well everything in the kingdom starts at the starting place of the kingdom and that is righteousness peace, peace and, and joy, joy and the power of the holy spirit so if you don't have joy for example then you've got to work on joy well you know the way i worked on joy and, and we've said this before is that one day i told sherry to get the children when they were small i said bring them into the living room we're going to practice laughter and, and so we did we we would meet each night and and practice laughter and we just laugh and they would laugh and they would tumble and the, they would roll in the living room and uh, after doing that for a while, the Holy Spirit said to me that he had anointed me with the oil oh, of joy wow. above mm -hmm. my brethren, above my fellows, mm -hmm. because I had practiced laughter. And, and so joy is something that he gave me. It's a gift. It's a, also a fruit. Of, it's a fruit of the Holy Spirit. But, but you practice, you practice righteousness, you practice joy, you practice peace. And so this is where the prosperity of the soul begins. It begins with the kingdom, mm. seeking the kingdom. And you can say, let's do a checkup. Okay, let's do a checkup on each of us tonight. Are we walking in righteousness? Are we practicing righteousness? Do we have joy in our life? Do we have peace and the power of the Holy Spirit? If we don't have joy, for example, You've got to go back and find the starting point. Where did you lose your joy? Uh, because he said, mm -hmm. count it all joy. joy. So maybe something has come your way and to try to steal your joy. And, and so go back to that point where you laid down your joy and pick it up again, because you've got to have joy and peace in order to prosper your soul. So it begins down here in your spirit in your core, in the heart, in your mm -hmm. very heart. In your belly. That's where it begins. Uh, you know, Je Jesus said in uh, uh, John 7, out of your belly or innermost being shall flow oh, rivers, rivers of living, living water. water. So where do those flow? Well, they, they flow out of the spirit man, then they flow into the soul, mm, and hallelujah. then they flow into the physical and natural realm Hallelujah. and so if you don't have this flow if you don't have joy and you don't have peace that's where you need to look you, you need to look well where did i lay down my joy where, where did i let somebody steal my joy or you might say well where i don't have peace i'm in i'm in turmoil where did where did you lay down your peace where did you let somebody steal your peace those mm. this is the starting point it always begins here. Seek first the kingdom. So if you start at the right place, you will end up in victory every time. Hallelujah. Always begin with the kingdom. Now I'm talking about strategy. How can we prosper our soul? You have to have a starting point. Your starting point is always kingdom because that's the kingdom is in your heart. And you look at these three things, the righteousness, peace, and joy in the power of the Holy Spirit. And so if you don't have peace or you don't have joy, you're not going to prosper yourself. So that's just the beginning, okay? So let's say that, that you have peace and you have joy and you have righteousness in the power of the Holy Spirit. Then what's next? Well, you, what is your soul? It's your mind and it's your will, emotions. and it's your emotions, okay? And so let's say you've got some negative emotions, uh, anxiety, mm -hmm. or fear, or depression, mm -hmm. or oppression. Let's say you have some of these things, they're out in the soulish realm. And so we're going to deal, we're going to look at strategies, how to deal with these emotions that are running amok. And uh, running amok, running amok. <laughs> and so let, I have three different passages we're going to look at. So you are kingdom people, you are believers, 
And so you, your starting point to look at any problem you encounter is always in the kingdom. Do I, am I practicing righteousness? Do I still have my joy? Do I still have the peace of God in mm -hmm. uh, the power of the Holy Spirit? So if you've, if you've gone through that test, then we're going to look at the realm of emotions. And I'm going to give you a strategy on how to control your emotions, how to heal and restore your emotions. And we're going to look at three passages, but they all say basically the same thing. We'll start with uh, Joshua. And, and I have a couple of verses I would like Sherry to read in Joshua. Prospering the soul. This is Philippians. Oh, I'm sorry. Is this not Joshua? Oh. Uh, let me. <laughs> I came Where in with the wrong notes. Uh, let me get some other notes. I apologize. I'll be right back. That's okay. I thought I had that. Sherry can talk while I'm gone. <laughs> <laughs> well, we know that Joshua, uh, he was told to, to be strong and very courageous. And then in Joshua uh, 1 8, uh, he was told how to keep his, his thinking in line with the word of God. And, and I believe that the scriptures that I'm about to read to you uh, refer uh, to meditation, meditation or meditating. I'm not talking about the yoga meditation, I'm talking about meditating uh, on the word of God. Okay. okay. Here it is, Joshua, uh, chapter one, and I wanted to read a couple of verses. Is that Joshua? Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Okay. Uh, starting in verse seven, only be strong and very courageous. Be careful to do according to all that the law, which Moses, my servant, commanded you. Do not turn from the, the right or to the left. Uh, that To me, that means do not be distracted so that you may achieve success wherever you go, verse eight. Then this book of the law shall not depart from your mouth. That means speaking the word, but you shall meditate on it day and night. Think on it, think on the scriptures, think on the verses, but you sh so that you may be careful to do according to all that is written in it. For then you will make your way prosperous and then you will achieve success. Okay, so we're going to stop here at these. Um, there are three passages I'm going to look at, but the first one is about Joshua. And Moses is dead, but uh, Josh, Joshua is told by the Lord to meditate on the Word of God. Now, he said mm -hmm. there are only five books of the Word of God written at this time. It's Genesis, Exodus, Leviticus, Numbers, and Deuteronomy. Those are the books that Moses wrote. So he said, uh, meditate on the, on those uh, books of the law that Moses commanded you. But we would say meditate on the word of God because over time mm -hmm. the word of God expanded uh, that we have access to. And, and so he said meditate on it and then you will make your way prosper. So what are we looking at mm -hmm. tonight? We're mm -hmm. looking on prospering the, the soul. soul. How do we prosper the soul? You make the the you make your soul prosper by meditating on the word of God. That's that's the bottom line. Meditate on the word of God and you will make your way prosperous and you'll be successful in what you do. So how do we prosper our soul? Meditate on the word of God. Let's look at another passage, which is a parallel to this. And this is Psalm 1, uh, the first uh chapter in Psalm, and now the Word of God has expanded beyond those first five, but to include Judges and First King, uh, First Samuel, Second Samuel, First Kings, Second Kings, First Sam Corinthians, Chronicles. so uh, and, and First Chronicles, Second Chronicles. So and the Word of, is beginning. So He no longer just calls it the law that Moses commanded, but now He's just saying the law of the Lord. Are are but for our purposes. It's still the word of God. Meditate on the word of God. So let's let her read these first uh, verses in Psalm 1. 
Blessed is the person or blessed is the man that walketh not in the counsel of the ungodly, nor standeth in the way of sinners, nor sitteth in the seat of the scornful. But his delight is in the law of the Lord, and in his law doth he meditate day and night. And he shall be like a tree planted by the rivers of water that bringeth forth his fruit in his season. His leaf also shall not wither. And whatsoever he doeth shall prosper. Okay. Hallelujah. So, so we, we've got these two passages that are very similar. It says meditate on the word of God and you will make your war, your war, way prosperous. You know, I have a scripture. It says as a, <clears throat> as a person thinketh or as a man thinketh, so be it. And so your thinking either is going to prosper you or it's going to put you in the valley of evil. So meditate on the word of God. Now, the meditation that we're talking about in the Bible is different than what uh, the world is saying. Uh, right. uh, Western uh, meditation is a, a lot about the intellect. Eastern uh, meditation is about emptying the mind, mm -hmm. but the, but the uh, problem with emptying the mind is that the devil can come in and right. all kinds of, right. You don't want to empty it. <laughs> a lot of uh, evil can happen if you empty your mind. So what we're supposed to do is meditate on the word of God. Now, uh, one of the basic words here for meditate is about rocking, rocking back and forth and muttering the words. And so if you look at the people on the Wailing Wall in Jerusalem, mm -hmm. uh, you can see they're kind of wall, uh, rocking back, back and, and forth, forth and they're speaking the word. They're saying it over and over again. But okay, so for us, uh, how do we meditate? Well, it's muttering the word or it's just rehearsing the word, thinking about it. So you speak uh, about the word, you think about the word, you can just kind of be muttering those uh, uh, maybe under your breath a little bit so that you can hear them so that it becomes faith to you. It goes mm -hmm. down into your spirit, man, because that's where your faith is. It's in your spirit, man. But up here, your soul is the is the gateway to all of that. So your soul is real important. Let's mm -hmm. prosper it. If, see, if we have a uh, an unhealthy soul, then we're blocking things going into our spirit, man, and it's going to hinder our faith. So both of those passages were very parallel. It said, you make your way prosperous. In other words, you prosper your soul when you meditate on the word of God day and night. Mm -hmm. Oh, it's not just a day. Yeah, that's right. It's not an eight hour. It's not an eight o'clock until five o'clock. Yeah effort here we're talking about day and it, night yeah don't because, shut it off because when you go to bed at night if you're having trouble going to sleep meditate on the word what does the word say see the lord is my shepherd i shall, shall not, not want. want you just you, you memorize scriptures you begin to meditate on those and think about them and go over and over in your mind that's meditating uh, on the word of god and that is causing your soul to prosper that's calling causing your emotions to prosper. So what I want you to see here is that it, what we do with our spirit, man, is very important. Uh, it's going to dominate our soul when we're meditating on the word of God. Now, if we never mm -hmm. think about the word of God, then that old soul becomes very fleshly and carnal, and, and it's not going to accept the word of God, and it's not going to let the, put up barriers yeah and not going to let your spirit man grow and nur be nurtured by the word of god but so it's real important to meditate on the word of god now let's bring it forward we looked at two passages from the old testament but let's move it forward to the new testament and we'll look at philippians chapter four and i'll ask sherry to read these verses in verse four, rejoice in the Lord always. And again, I say rejoice. Let your gentle spirit be known to all people. Okay, let's just stop here. It, rejoice in the Lord. Rejoice. Again, I say re, it's about rejoice. See, where do you begin? You begin in the spirit, man. You look at these three things. 
rejoice, mm -hmm. peace, no, righteousness. And get righteousness, peace, peace and, and joy. joy in the power of the Holy Spirit. Those are the things. And that's exactly what Paul is saying here. Rejoice. And again, I say rejoice. Don't let, don't let your joy uh, lay down on, the, on you. You've mm -hmm. got to keep that joy in there. So he's saying rejoice. Mm -hmm. and, and maybe you didn't hear it the first time. So he says it again. Rejoice. rejoice. And again, I say rejoice. So we're looking at those three things, righteousness, peace, and joy in the inner man. And this is the gentle spirit. Yes. Let okay. your gentle spirit be known to all people. The Lord is near. Do not be anxious about anything. Whoa. Now there's an emotion. There is an emotion, mm -hmm. but, but we don't, we don't start uh, looking at emotions and, and, uh, uh, trying to change those emotions we start at the spirit we start at the, the heart yes rejoicing. we start rejoicing we we look for peace where do i have peace mm -hmm. uh, i want to make decisions that give me peace uh, uh, maybe i have to go off uh, by myself so i can get peace uh, maybe there's turmoil and chaos all around me but i've got to find a secret place with the lord where i can find peace so you start with these three things, righteousness, peace, and joy in the power of, of the, the Holy, Holy Spirit. Spirit. Okay, go on, Chair. Do not be anxious about anything, but in everything, by prayer and pleading with thanksgiving, let your requests be made known unto God. Hallelujah. And the peace of God, which surpasses all comprehension, will guard your hearts and your minds in Christ Jesus. Okay, now, see, you start with the rejoicing, and now the, here's the peace coming in. Right. It's a spiritual peace. You cannot comprehend it with your mind. Mm -hmm. And what is he going to do? It, see, the peace is there in your spirit, man, but that's where the kingdom is. Mm -hmm. And it comes up, and it's going to guard your heart and your mind hallelujah but he doesn't start there what's where did you start you started by rejoicing 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 and again i say rejoice and then that and then that peace is going to come up it's going to guard your heart and it's going to guard your mind but that's your soul and so what we want to do is to have a healthy wholesome soul Hallelujah. So the message tonight is prospering the soul. Mm. How do we prosper the soul? Well, we can see it right here. Rejoice. And again, I say rejoice. Yes. And then let the peace of God rise up and it will guard your heart and your mind. And, and that's mm. your emotions and that's your uh, will and your mind and all of that. So isn't that exciting? We have a strategy now. Okay, so what's the next verse? Here? Well, I, I just want to add... Uh, what I'm seeing in this, uh, these verses here is that your emotions become stabilized and your emotions, once they're stabilized, then they can begin to uh, prosper. And, and so the, the peace, the prayer, the thanksgiving, and then starting with rejoicing, uh, that is, uh, that is something that, um, that, that I was seeing in those verses in verse eight. Finally, brethren and sisters, whatever is true, whatever is honorable, whatever is right, whatever is pure, whatever is lovely, whatever is commendable, if there is any excellence and if anything be worthy of praise, think about these things. Okay, so we're back to that concept of meditation. Think on these things. King James says, whatever things are true and honest and mm -hmm. just and pure and loving, mm -hmm. think on these things. These are the things in the word. Begin to meditate on the word, the things that are true and honest and just and pure and lovely. Those are, that's the way you meditate. That's the way you prosper your soul. You, you don't mm -hmm. prosper your soul with medication. You, medi mm -hmm. you prosper your soul with meditation. Not uh, medication, <laughs> but meditation. Yes, amen, amen. See how, how the world get, gets things mixed up? They want to medicate uh, people who are having problem out here in the soulish realm. Uh, but what does God want to do? He wants you to meditate here in the spiritual realms. Mm -hmm. uh, meditate on the word of God. Meditate on 
on Psalm 23. If you memorize that, mm, meditate. Psalm 91. You can look at Psalm 91. You can look at Psalm 20. Look at, look at Psalms, the different Psalms that encourage you and strengthen you. Or look at the New Testament. Uh, what Look at uh, 1 John and 2 John mm -hmm. and, and the things that really give you life, that bring you to life. These are the things that will cause your soul to prosper. But the prosperity and your success doesn't end in that level because that's the second level. Hallelujah. The first level is your spirit. It's a spiritual realm. And the second level is your soul or soulish realm. And if it begins to prosper, then you're going to be successful in every area of life. Mm -hmm. You're going to have good health. You're going to have prosperity. That's the third level. But your prosperity doesn't begin. Your good health doesn't begin at the third level. See, medical doctors, uh, they will deal with symptoms uh, and, and mm -hmm. they, will, they will medicate the symptoms and they'll They'll give you things to deal with symptoms, but that's at the third level. And, and what we see here over and over again from the word of God that we always begin, always start at the first level, which is righteousness, peace, and joy in the Holy Spirit. So if you lose one of those things, uh, if you drop your joy and you get real mad and upset, then go back to where you lost your joy because you've got to get it right. There's an order in the kingdom. You've got to have righteousness, peace, and joy. Then that flows over and begins to cause you to prosper in your soul. Mm -hmm. When you prosper in your soul, it's going to flow over into your good health and into your prosperity and finances and success in your uh, business and whatever you're doing, success in, in relationships and success in, in uh, parenting uh, your children and uh, being a good spouse and, and being an effective sp uh, spouse in a marriage and do not, it doesn't begin there. It begins at the spirit level, righteousness, peace, and, and joy, joy in the power of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Get things in Amen. order, get things right. Then you'll prosper in your soul. Your emotions will come into line with the word of God. You, you will have peace uh, and, and not anxiety, not fear, oppression. Get things in order that and prosper in your soul. And then when you prosper in your soul, you're going to be able to contribute to your marriage and, and, and bring healing and wholeness to your marriage. You're going to be able to bring healing and wholeness to your relationships with your mm -hmm. children and your siblings and your parents. Mm -hmm. You're going to have impact on other people when you are prospering in your spirit prospering in your soul, then it will flow over into every area of your life. Tonight, we have talked about prospering the soul, but it doesn't begin there. But it, the soul is critical. You need to prosper in your soul. I've given you the strategies from um, Joshua, from Psalm 1, and from Philippians 4. It's, they say the same thing. The thing that's going to prosper your soul is for you to think about the word of God. Amen. The things that cause you to be encouraged and lifted up and cause your faith Amen. to arise. Thank you for being here with us tonight. Amen. Amen. I loved what Brother Fred said right at the very beginning, and that was letting the king have dominion in our life. And there are times when uh, I know that I, I felt like I knew exactly what needed to be done and i didn't i didn't go to the lord i didn't consult uh the king of kings and lord of lords i just felt like i knew what needed to be done and and so i just went right ahead and did it and that didn't work out so well uh but i loved what brother fred said that if we seek the kingdom means to give the king jesus christ the king of kings dominion in whatever we do in the workplace in our family in our marriage in our finances you know what is it that you want done uh king jesus 
And so I, I love that, that point right there. Uh, because if we want dominion in, in this life, if we want to have power in this life and rule and reign by one Christ Jesus, then the king has to have dominion over what is being done uh, in our lives and the decisions that we are making, whether they be, they be uh, you know, about our family, about our finances, about investments, uh, about our bodies. Uh, about where we go, about our spiritual life, uh, all the decisions that we make. We make many decisions every single day. And if the, the king has dominion, uh, then our, our spirit will, will soar and we'll be walking in righteousness, peace and joy in the Holy Ghost. And, and, and then it floods over and and uh, goes into uh, those emotions, and we become um, a, a happier person. We become our emotions uh, become stabilized, and 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 according to the Word of God, uh, that that we are thinking on things that are lovely, and you know, I I, I get calls every single day uh, and text messages from individuals that are having. A difficulty uh, in in their lives, and I get Facebook messages from individuals asking me uh, to pray because they, uh, you know, are in depression or they they're struggling or or they need uh, they need a job or they need finances to to pay their bills. Uh, are they having problems with their children? Uh, yeah, I just I get I get messages all the time. Uh, concerning individuals that that need to hear this message and so now that you've heard this message you're accountable for this message everything that you hear everything that I hear everything that brother Fred hears we are accountable to be doers of that word and and so you know this this message is is an important one uh, that we that we our soul is prospering. So I'm going to open it up. We have a few moments here. You know, do you have something that you want to to um, to comment about concerning this message? Um, and and just uh, yes, unmute you yourself, my friend. Sin is my new, it's, it's new here tonight. So I want to to, to let yes. you guys. Yes, the old friend in Athens. She lives in Athens. Well, <laughs> we welcome you, sister. Hi. We welcome you. Yeah, uh, call me yes. Mary. Yeah. Mary? Yeah. Okay, yeah, praise the you. Lord. Yes, wonderful, wonderful. Um, well, we, we live in Five Points. Um, oh, I know. Uh, right up from the <coughs> UGA track field and and uh, Barra Elementary School. We live in, in that area, and oh. we've lived here. Um, well, we've been in Athens 50 years. Wow. Uh, and so... So we're so glad that you're with us tonight. Thank you very much. Praise the name of Jesus. Yeah, uh, I enjoy your um, words, but I, I cannot fully understand. <laughs> it's okay, you, you will understand. You will get it. You, yeah, okay. most are, you of talking, the time. are you talking about our English or? Our, yeah, our, English. Our, yeah, oh. English. Yeah, English. Sorry, oh, okay. but English level, I told her not to worry about it. Yeah. Yes, and if you wrote down the scriptures uh, that Brother Fred, the, the three passages, then you can you can read it, um, you know, in your uh, Chinese Bible and and uh, you can, you know, understand more. Uh, there's one key word in, in all of those passages, and that is uh, to, to think on the word of God. Mm -hmm. Think on the word of God. Well, and also let me say that the anointing doesn't have to go through your intellect right the the anointing is from the holy spirit right and it bypasses the intellect and it affects your spirit and so uh, just because uh, you didn't understand everything that was said uh, don't be discouraged mm -hmm. uh, and if i need to slow down i, I will slow down but this is not just an intellectual discussion. It is a spiritual discussion 
and the Holy Spirit is able to bypass the mm -hmm. intellect and impact your spirit. That's right. Go straight to the spirit. Okay. Praise the name of Jesus. So someone okay. else, um, just unmute yourself and, you know, we're glad to have Lucy with us and Sophia yeah. with us and, uh, of course, Jen with us tonight. Praise the Lord. Hi, Sherry and Dr. Huai. Yes. See you guys again. I like your message about how to, we, had, we need to meditate God's word yes. every single day. Yes. Yeah. I mean, yeah. Either you know, we are, our mind is full, full with God's word or the 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 worldly value, right? Yes. yes. So yeah. Mm -hmm. We well, you know the the world. Uh, depending on you know what we we need to guard, we need to guard our gates, and and that helps us also to to think on the word. If we guard our hearts. If we guard our, our eyes, what we're watching, if we guard our ears, and if we guard our mouth, what we're saying, all of those are gates because we are the temple of the Holy Spirit. And we have all of those gates that we have to set up a watch over and a guard. And, and as we do that, then, then our, our spirit will receive uh what we need to have to prosper our soul yeah and i want to thank you for joey he kind of yes. you know joey Juan Juan, my friend yeah I, I i love her and her family very much you know she kind of uh like my sister uh always remind me <laughs> every tuesday you know <laughs> sunday you know because you know we have a ton difference you know, because I in California it's three hours difference. Oh, so she's yeah. Amen. Child. Yeah. You it's know, it's for me to pick up my daughter, so or run the errands. So I right, I, right. I, <laughs> well, we appreciate your watching when whenever you can. Uh, mm -hmm. We have a um, Hispanic um, Bible study uh, with individuals from Peru, Argentina, Mexico, uh, Cuba, uh, Colombia, and there are several people from England that are on that, that speak Spanish, and they stay up until one or two o'clock in the morning mm. uh, to, to be a part of the, of the meeting, mm -hmm. and uh, so we certainly understand that the time frame and the time difference. Thank, Thank you. you. Yeah, praise the name of Jesus. Uh, I want to, to share something with you. Uh, and if you have um, comments more or more comments, then please just unmute yourself. Uh, but this coming Saturday, I'll be doing a, an international women's meeting uh, that will uh, start um, Saturday afternoon and I can get the link to joy uh, in if any of you would like to because I'll be, I'll be ministering so I'll be speaking English and then there'll be a translator there because there will be uh, people from all over uh, the world that are listening uh, to to the word and the, the title of the session is um, the outpouring of God's power. Mm -hmm. and and so and my part starts at uh 12 45 in the afternoon and and it'll go for a while and and then there'll be a break and then I'll come back and my second part starts at 5 45 and and so uh, I'm excited about it and I believe that that you know if you would like to to listen in and be on that international zoom meeting uh that would be that would be wonderful and enjoy i will send you the link okay and you can, you can i it. can share with the group i can you share, can with, share with the group right right thank, thank you. you jesus does someone else have something they want to share uh, before we close out tonight
Uh, thank you, Brother Fred. Uh, Fred uh, remind us to uh, meditate uh, God's word day and night. This is yes, important for us to chew uh, uh, on uh, God's word and digest it. Uh, so we can do, be, uh, we can become a doer. Uh, we can practice uh, God's word. This is a really, yeah. uh, really important uh, reminder to us. Yeah, sometimes I mean. read, it, read it as uh, just like uh, Pharisees, just the, the read Bible, you know, every day. We like um, may not really uh, chew on it to right. understand. Uh, God's word. So it can't help us when we just need God's word to empower us. Mm -hmm. It's a really, really good um, reminder. Thank you. Amen. 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 Uh, Joy, I want to uh, just uh, speak to the, uh, the word that was given you on Sunday night. The uh, spirit of the Lord said that you, that you carry peace. And I just want to um, also, you know, just uh, bring that forth again uh, of that, that people need uh, that peace that you carry with you. Uh, it's, it's uh, you know, there's, um, like a, I said, a turmoil uh, and chaos uh, in the worldly system right now. Uh, it says, um, in the world, you'll have tribulation, but be of good cheer, for I have overcome the world. And I believe that being able to give someone peace, um, peace of mind, peace in their, in their thinking, uh, is just a great gift. And so uh, I thank you for being that vessel uh, that the Lord can, can use that way. Uh, because we certainly need it. We certainly thank need you for it. The encouragement, and I thank Jesus for that. It's God's truth that yes. that um, because because um, I you unmuted. No, I didn't. Oh. Because I went through. <laughs> yeah, something really because, I think mute it. Don't do it. I <laughs> it's a sign that it's mute. The red thing is mute. <laughs> but I think I practice um, worshiping God a lot and. And um, I and I learned from Sister Sherry. You said that sometimes you used to drum in the morning, you walk every room, and sometimes I did that too. I went to my children's room and praise God. I would just walk around, and uh, when I sometimes Amen. when I read the scripture and I became sleepy, I got up and worship the Lord rather than taking a nap. You know, I just um, intentionally worshiping, and also mm -hmm. um, I practice giving thanks to the as I shared last Tuesday with. Dr. White's teaching about seven or eight months ago, I became more intentional, practicing, yeah. giving thanks to the Lord. Even a lot of things happened that is against my will. Like, oh, I wish my children joined this meeting and they didn't, you know, I still give God thanks. I don't know why they didn't want to come to the meeting, but I just released yeah. them. It become, I, it gave me a lot of release because I tend to worry in the past. I got anxious easily, and and so I practiced that. I practiced releasing that to the Lord, and and just give Him thanks, knowing that long term He knows what He's doing. God is Amen. 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 Hallelujah. Amen. Hallelujah. Well, in in your doing that, when you say you release to the Lord and giving Him thanks, uh, what you're doing actually is making Him king and having Him have dominion in that situation with whatever it might be. And, and so that's, um, you know, it says, you know, when you ask what is God's will for me in this situation and his will is always to give him thanks, Amen. to give him thanks for what he's doing. And so we, we know the will of God for us is to give him thanks. You know, and I and I'll just give this this testimony right quick before we end, and that is, when I was going through the terminal cancer situation uh, 28 years ago, uh, the reports from the the tests kept coming back, coming back, and they were very uh, bad reports, evil reports uh, that I had the uh, second highest malignant thyroid cancer. And all the tests were showing that that's what was happening in my body. 
but I had been given by the Lord the scripture 118, Psalms 118, verse 17, that says, I shall not die, but live and declare the works of the Lord. So one afternoon, I was sitting in my living room and I was crying because I had just received another bad report uh, from one of the doctors. And I said, why, why, Lord, am I not seeing the manifestation of this healing that you've said that you have healed my body and you've taken the cancer away? And so very gently, he answered me in a still, small voice. He said, but you haven't thanked me for it. And I fell on my knees in my living room. And before the Lord, I began to give him thanks. And every single morning when I awake, I give him thanks that he has allowed me to live another minute, another hour, another day. And, and so uh, that Thanksgiving does release uh, the kingdom. And then, then your soul will begin to prosper. And you, and, you, and you begin to think, oh, you know, Jesus did this for me. You know, G you know, he's my savior. He's my Lord. You know, he did all of this just for me. You know, I don't have to have panic attacks. I don't have to, uh, to go into depression. I don't have to uh, think on uh, committing suicide. I don't, I don't have to go back to those, those evil places, but that I can have my soul prospering. Oh, oh, and I give, him, I give him thanks for that. So I bless you tonight in the name of Jesus. And those situations in your life that need to, some of you need to refine your thinking. You need to go back to the Lord before you make a decision. There's two people that are, uh, you've got a decision to make even this week. Before you make that decision, you go back to the Lord and, and just go before him and tell him that he is the king and that you're seeking his kingdom first and, and ask him to give you the right answer with the right decision. And one of it is professionally, you're making a decision. And secondly, you're making a decision about uh, what's going on in your body. And, and before you make those decisions, go back to the Lord and, and just receive from him in Jesus' name. In Jesus name. Well, we're excited. We'll, we'll be back with you uh, next Tuesday evening. All right. Thank you so much. Thank you. Bye-bye. Bye we love you. Bye-bye. George, I give you a big hug. <laughs> I give you a big hug, George. All right. Bye-bye. Oh, thank you. Thank you. Bye-bye. Bye-bye. <laughs> Bye-bye.